What is happening guys? Ari here with Boston Automotive Consulting. Here today to talk about this 2019 BMW X5 and what I like about it and how much it's leasing out for and what sort of discount you can expect to get on it if you're purchasing it. Now for starters, do I like it? Damn right I like it. I love it. I find it really, really cool the fact that you can get this thing with massaging seats, the heated and cooled cup holders, you can get it with a two axle air suspension that basically lifts up the car three inches. Let's say you're about to drive through like a flooded area or maybe you're going through some deep, deep snow. A live surround view of your car. Let's say you're parked somewhere and you want to keep an eye out on it. Open up your handy dandy BMW connected app and boom, right there. And my personal favorite feature on this car, and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I'm probably going to say the emergency aid assist or the evasion assist, you're wrong. I'm actually talking about the remote starter. BMW, why are you so late to the party? And 300 bucks, is that a joke? Like, is this, are you guys trying to laugh at us? Like all these years, people have been paying thousands of dollars to install a remote starter in the BMW and they roll out an a la carte $300 remote starter. I don't know, I shouldn't complain, but like, like, guys, it's been like 25 years. Anyway, the X5, fantastic. But let's talk some numbers here. Like, what are you going to be able to lease this thing out for? Have they even begun to start discounting it yet? You're about to find out in a couple seconds. So hang tight because the party is about to start. <laughs> So guys, if you haven't already and you enjoy solid how-to videos, especially when it comes to how to negotiate brand new cars, such as the BMW X5 and the video you're about to watch, please consider subscribing. I'm like 13 shy of a thousand. Guys, my quota for this month is a thousand subs. If you can help me get there, I'll be truly appreciative. I'm having trouble sleeping at night, so help me out, huh? Diving right into this video, guys, the BMW X5 that I'm going to be focusing on for the sake of this video is a $63,945 X5 40i X drive. There's, there's a lot of different things that are going into these. They, they, they used to just call this thing just X5. So 63,945 is what the typical price tag X5 is near me and it's gonna come with the remote starter it might not come with all the other stuff however this is like what you want in an x5 at its minimum so regardless if the x5 that you're working on costs a little bit more use the percentages that i'm talking about in this video as well as the residual and money factor that i'm going to be talking about later on so that you can plug it all into a calculator and figure out what you should be paying so guys the key word for this video in stock in stock you want to stick to what's in stock right now at the dealerships and thankfully because we're approaching the end of the year and end of the month you should have no problem getting the discounts that i'm going to be talking about next and even more so going in into the winter when sales are typically slow generally speaking you should be able to get a fat discount on the new x5 because this is their bread and butter suv so as far as a percentage to target, if you're going to be purchasing or financing this car, you want to be targeting 10% off off of the MSRP. The reason why I say 10% is because it's not likely that you'll actually see a full 10%. You might actually land anywhere between 8 to 10% off. So if you're targeting a $64,000 X5, you really, really want to be pushing for about a $6,000 discount. Now there is a loyalty incentive in place for $1,000. If you're currently in a BMW now, if you get asked if you're driving a competitive make car, figure that the dealership also has a Conquest coupon available to them. This is not a published coupon or incentive that's in place just for everybody. They only get a specific number of these handed to them from corporate. So if you get asked, Take advantage right away because they're not guaranteed to have it a couple weeks after or whenever you actually sign the deal. So coupling that $6,000 discount with a promo APR, 
You want to be leaving the dealership with the best of both worlds, getting at the very least an 8 to 10% discount. And if you can have the dealership, use whatever loyalty or conquest incentive that's available to you and combine it with the lowest possible APR. Now for the fun part, if you're leasing this car, the program is actually not too, too bad. It could be a little bit better. The residual is 59% at 10,000 miles a year. There are no lease credits. However, like I said before, if you're currently in a BMW now, you get $1,000 to lease out the X5. BMW's money factor has stayed consistently high and I don't foresee them reducing the money factor anytime in the near future. So a 0.00182 money factor. If we've got our original MSRP at 63,945, a selling price of let's say 58,000 a 59% residual and a 0.00182 money factor. If I plug this all into my lease calculator with just my inception fees, do it start roughly about $2,500 in total. The payment is coming out to 783 a month. You want to be targeting this payment guys. There's a chance it may be a little bit difficult to actually get there. However, you want to set this as your target and push and fight as much as you can. If you're currently in a BMW now, factor that there's another thousand dollars to be reduced from that payment I just showed you. So about 750 a month. And this is all including my state sales tax. Now guys, as far as availability, you may actually end up ordering the X5 because the most aggressive dealer that you might find may not actually have the X5 you're looking for. A lot of them are open to ordering the car for you however you actually want it. And the dynamic behind this is that if you go in there sort of at the beginning of the month to discuss numbers, because the X5's turnaround time to build one from the factory is typically only a month, sometimes even less. Like I've actually built out X3s and X5s that from top to bottom have only taken about three weeks for the dealership to receive. So it's quite likely that that dealer will be doing this whole deal with the thought in mind that they'll actually be able to get this deal written up before the end of the month. Now guys, I hope that this video helped you in trying to figure out what you're gonna be targeting on the brand new X5. Just to summarize, you really, really wanna be targeting payments just a touch under $800 with just your inception fees, do it start if you're leasing. If you're planning on purchasing this car between eight and 10% off, Guys, if you found this information useful and you want to see more car buying and negotiation tips, please consider subscribing. In this channel, all the information that I give away is free and hopefully it helps car buyers such as yourself get the very, very best deal on whatever car that you're looking for. I do work nationwide, so if your deal does require a little bit extra assistance, feel free to contact me. My email is ari at bostonauto.net. You can also go in the description below and find the link to Boston Auto's website. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching and we'll see you next time.